making our end of the week in eh, uh, video for the blue. Um, oh boy, good. So this, the first couple of days were really spent on establishing a marker system for blue. So a marker is going to be a word that marks a moment in time that I like something that he does so we can shape new behaviors. And for him, that's going to announce the arrival of a reinforcer. So I wanted to make sure we created the association between the two events. And really what it does is it bridges the gap between desired behavior and reinforcer for him. So um, I feel like I, I found that when I kind of breeze over this, I don't think people find it to be that important, but really it's the fundamental thing for him to help him understand what I'm expecting from him to create a little bit of clarity. So there's a couple of different markers that all have different meanings as far as what I'm expecting him to do. So the first, the main one is going to be, yes, the whole way. And that means I like what you did, come take something from me. So it's almost like a um, terminal marker, um, but it's always going to be followed with a reinforcer to uphold its value. And how I deliver that reinforcer is going to be, instead of just smashing food into his face, I want him to chase after my hand and work a little harder to get that reinforcer so I can tap into that prey drive. So even if he's not really that hungry or if the competing motivators are better than food, um, at least we can increase that value by adding a little, in a little bit of movement in play. Um, so if I ask him to do something, sit, yes. The moment that he does it, I'm going to say yes, and then I can kind of let him chase that reinforcer around to, to make it a little bit more fun. Um, <clears throat> good and okay those are going to be our duration markers so if I say good I'm implying good that I want him to continue to do that behavior and for that if I am going to pay him I'm going to good bring the reinforcer to him and then okay means that that's a terminal marker he can be done with the behavior if he continues to do it no big deal that's what he's choosing to do but he doesn't have to continue to the, the, continue to do the behavior past that um, so for blue a big focus the first part of this week has been um, building impulse control. <clears throat> He's got really great engagement. I've been using that yes marker to, to kind of capture engagement in different types of environments. Um, but that kind of gets him a little bit excited. So what we've been doing is hanging out a lot in the lobby when dogs are being picked up or dropped off. And I want him to be able to hang out uh, and into like a, a down stay or a sit stay before the trigger is present during the presence of the trigger and shortly after. I want him to just learn how to be calm in those types of situations and not be responsive to the environment. He's just hanging out with me and being calm and, and things like that. So um, I'm gonna let Veda come out, which is my dog, he already knows her and stuff. But just to kind of demonstrate a little bit of what he's been working on. Ma'am, get your button here. <clears throat> what, you're too soon, come on, get up. So essentially that's going to be something that at home, 
every time he goes near that area, the forbidden area, the area where there's a lot of conflict, we're going to say out, and we're, we're just going to create <coughs> excuse me, a muscle memory response to that, where every time he goes to that, he's outed and called away from there, um, so that he's learning that that's never a successful thing. And that's going to be a lot of homework where you're constantly practicing that, you're setting him up for success. I would say he's even on a long line to where you can back that up. So right now he's doing outs from things of low value and he's getting something from me, higher value when I mark with that yes, um, to teach him what I'm looking for. But when we get into situations where the fence, the gate, that is high value, he knows that there's freedom on the other side, there might be a little bit of hesitancy from him in responding to that. So we wanna make sure that even if he, you say out and he's like, mm -mm, I'm not gonna do it. When you say no, you have that leash there to back up what you're asking him to do. Um, he's doing really well overall. He's, like I said in the email, like a lot of times when I work with hounds, this is mostly what they do. They don't really want to engage with me much, but he's great about it. He likes working with me. Even when we go into like around the neighborhood, he's willing to pay attention to me and engage with me and take reinforcers from me. And he doesn't just have his nose to the ground the entire time. So blue, come. Yes. Boy, good boy. Um, let's see. Blue, come. Stay. Good. questions feel free to reach out um, just wanted to send a quick little video so it's not covering obviously everything that we've been working on but just a nice little board into his his first week here all right you're all done